What's up guys, Brad here from Piney Grove and we got the Summit TX25, we got the Woodmax MX8600, I'm forgetting my model numbers, and we also have two steel chainsaws, an old legacy model, about 1985, and a new top handle. And what we're gonna be doing today is going around the property and cleaning up the limbs on the trees because we're getting close to time where Miss Piney Grove wants to get on the zero turn and start zipping around and cutting the grass. Got the steel 009. That's a 1985 model saw. I put a new carburetor on it. I bought it used like 20 years ago. And this is the steel MS150C. It's got a little mini, mini bar, mini chain on it. This is my dad's saw. It's nice and light. And that's a one-handed saw and I've got a fake shoulder or a replaced shoulder. I bought this thing used a few weeks ago with four hours on it. It's got 23 hours on it now. Speaking of Miss Piney Grove, here she comes. I just told the folks that I was gonna go around and clean up these trees that have these low limbs on them. And uh, I knew you'd be excited about that. Are you excited about it? I'm so excited, especially if you're gonna chip and then chip and leave little piles that we then go back and have to pick up all the chips. No, I actually said you're excited because once we clean them up, you can zip around them with your zero turn. Ooh, that is a good thing right there. That, yes, okay, so for that, I will be excited about that. What'd you name your zero turn? Spunky. <laughs> spunky. Because she's very spunky. I can't wait to get back on spunky, hopefully soon. You can see behind me, we're already starting to green up here in North Florida, and we'll be mowing grass. We actually have some areas we can mow already, but... We want to get the pastures cleaned up with these low hanging limbs. Enough messing around, we got work to do. I'm gonna start with this saw, I've never used it before. That thing's nice. The joys of YouTube and I forgot to turn the camera on when I chipped that limb. There'll be plenty more. This one will be a challenge for the chipper. Let's start with the easy one. Deb talked about me putting the chips on the ground, and that's because we did that the first couple of times we used the chipper, and they were hard to get up off the ground to reuse them in the garden. But because we're gonna go be going around to so many different places, I'm just gonna chip them on the ground, and then the, the lawnmower will mulch them up, and it'll just help the soil wherever they're chipped. My first impression of this steel saw, it's very light but it doesn't have a lot of power. I'm just gonna have these chips go right against the base of the tree. Not many chippers will do this. I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos and Woodmax seems to be the best. We're not sponsored. I just looked at the camera timer and I think five minutes we got this area cleaned up. Back it out and then just hit it hard. Sometimes it'll go. Sometimes it's as simple as just turning it over. I don't know what's wrong with this thing. Let's try that. If it gets caught up on this greenery right here, sometimes it just slips. It's not a shredder, it's a chipper. This saw gets the job done. It's just it will bind up easier than a saw with more power. I can't tell you how many times I've gone underneath that with the brush hog and it slapped me in the face. It won't slap me no more. Looks like I didn't pick it up high enough. These are the best type of limbs to feed in there where there's not a lot of branches low and it can get some momentum. This one's got a big Y in it. Let's see if it'll suck it in. It had a lot of branches that went out. It slowed down, but it took it. That's a fair sized tree. That's probably four inches of cedar. That's just impressive. The butt end of that slowed down the tractor a little bit, but once I got it going and I pulled the infeed to 10, just sucked it right in. Easy breezy. 
something like a monster truck getting caught on a speed bump in a parking lot. I was over there chipping for way longer than I wanted to be because this is where I want to chip. And this is our pasture. We'll be haying this pasture. We've got some new hay equipment from Tractor Tools Direct. These branches right here, when we cut hay last year and also when we mowed our pasture, these branches here hit the rops on the tractor. They hit the cab of the tractor that we borrowed last year and we might be getting a cab tractor this year to do hay with. So I just wanna clean all these up. And Deb mentioned earlier about, you know, just randomly putting piles of wood chips around the property. And then we went around with shovels and picked them all up. It is definitely much easier to put them in like the bed of a pickup or maybe an IBC tote. We've got the Summit dump trailer and that works really well, but that requires two tractors and I'm just trying to get a little bit done before dinner out here, so I don't really have time to hook the trailer up. So we're just gonna throw these oak chips around the base of this tree. This is a cool dual oak where, I don't know, two acorns grew, but I think I'm gonna cut this scraggly side off so this bigger side can flourish. I don't think it'll harm the bigger side. Cut it like that, because there's no way I was gonna put that whole thing in that chipper. The chipper can handle it, I can't. Be careful not to hit this bigger tree. That's a pretty stout piece of oak right there. The big thing with oak that I see is that the branches don't collapse as easy as the cedar, but it went in there. So the oak chips are definitely not as small as the pine, but still they're chopped up pretty good. Now right here is the biggest problem area in our pasture. We got three nice oak trees there and we have our line of pines there on the side and it got real tight in here or it is real tight in here. And when I was using a John Deere 575 cab tractor cutting our grass for our hay, I actually couldn't come through here. I had to back out. So I wanna get this cleaned up so I'd never have that problem again. Go camera. <laughs> Dirty job, but I love this stuff. Get carried away, I need to stay focused. Deb will come out here with a shepherd's hook. Tell me it's time to come in. So I want to get as much done as possible. I see a little scraggly pine tree, I just gotta get it. With these two tall pine trees here, this will never amount to anything. It ain't made for cutting big trees. I just really enjoy this type of work. Do you guys? The reason we bought Piney Grove is as we were thinking about that next phase of our life, we were wondering what we were gonna do. And we're both very active people. And we've just watched the older generation when they retire, they tend to get sedentary and um, their, their quality of life just diminishes. What we wanna do is stay active. And we knew that in our current house in, in the neighborhood that if we retired there, that really the only exercise that we would get would be like walking the dog through the neighborhood. And I just really enjoy this type of work and to have this little piece of paradise, this 20 acres in North Florida, where for the rest of our life, we can continue to do work like this, continue to stay active, keep the bones and the joints and the muscles and everything moving. Instead of sitting down and watching Netflix or football or something, I would just rather be out here working on this property. Another thing I wanted to mention is that we had a video where we bailed the hay out here and people talked about you guys bought some property and you cut down all the trees. Well, that's not true at all. We bought 20 acres and we cleared five out here in the front and we left a lot of trees. We left so many trees, in fact, that the guy that bailed our hay for us wouldn't come back. He said these trees just got in the way for him. We didn't have a big square chunk of pasture for him to come in and run his tractor for hours, which is why we have our own hay equipment now because we wanna be able to be self-sufficient and self-sustaining with hay production. We just couldn't get anybody to cut our hay. So, but continuing on with the, the Piney Grove story, so we've been working on this property for six years and for six years I have been thinking about getting out here and cutting these limbs, but having this wood chipper, having the summit tractor and just being able to go to each tree it's just really a time saver. It's efficient and I just enjoy it. I just think it's fun. What do you think, Deb? You think wood chipping's fun? You want a wood chip right now? Mrs. Piney Grove wants to wood chip. That was nowhere where I was going with the story, but 
It'll probably make for a better video. All right, let's go. I know, everything that I just gave her was sweaty. All right, just uh, grab those for your test branches and try those little ones right there. Just shove it in there. I can shove it in like that? Yeah, try it, try it like this. Grab it like this, and then try and push it under that roll where it should go. Is that big? Yeah, you might have to pull this in. Go and push it. She'd rather chip a log. There you go, Deb. All right, push it in there. That is super cool. He hasn't, hasn't had me do that yet. And I had a little bit of chipping envy, but that was super, super fun. I didn't care for doing these like branches because it was awkward. But I think chipping like logs and limbs, bigger limbs, I could do all day. That was very satisfying. I like it. My dog didn't like it, but I liked it. Um, we're gonna let Deb get back to what she was doing. I think she's putting together furniture or something and I'm gonna get back to chipping. Alrighty. That little interlude there was a prime example of why we bought Piney Grove. So Deb and I together can come out here and work. We can stay active. We can improve the property and just in general, enjoy nature and enjoy life. We're six years into it. It all culminates into this year where we build our house and live on the property. And you'll be seeing a lot more of this if you join our channel. And if you enjoy this type of outdoor activities like wood chipping, gardening, hay baling, cutting down trees, planting, those type of things, then consider subscribing and join us for the journey. But that's gonna wrap up today's video, folks. We're gonna leave you with some chipping and also throw up a couple links to a couple of our other videos. But until next time, y'all take care out there and remember, life's short, tractor hard.